Just got my Watney 2 W2 massager gun thing. When I first pulled it out of the box, I was like, oh no, must be a problem with it because it looks kind of almost like there's scratches, but actually it's not. It's just a plastic film protecting the glass. It actually smells really nice, like a brand new tool or something uh, that you use. It looks like solid construction. That centerpiece looks like it's steel in there. Um, there's the plug-in. It actually, uh, if you read through the manual, I noticed some other people said they started using it right away. Uh, if you read through the manual, it says to fully charge it before your first use, which probably helps your battery last longer in the long run. And not just that, but it also says to try not to take it all the way down to no power. Uh, so I've plugged it in and it looks like it is flashing green. Came with a whole bunch of different heads. Ooh, that rubber ball feels like that would be nice. Yeah. They all feel pretty solid construction wise. This one would probably be one of my favorites. And then this guy, I'm going to try on my neck because I keep getting knots in my neck and I'm hoping that this will get rid of those knots. And then this dude, I'm going to try on my calves. And this guy here is meant for your neck. I guess you put your spine in the middle of it. And then you get kind of a neat little, uh, neat little carrying case. Description of each head and uh, what you're supposed to use each one for So yeah, I can't wait to give this thing a try, but I'm going to let it charge before I uh, Give it a try So here's the Watney W2 Now I've charged it. It's charged fully when that light stays on fully. I got this one on for large muscle groups on the back here your program, the way it works, is those are pre-programmed modes. I haven't tried them out yet, but P0 is regular. And then you press the power. And you can choose your speed. And then it does a pretty good job of vibrating your muscles I uh, I tried it last night and I wanted to wait and see how I felt this morning I feel like I definitely feel a bit of improvement in some of the areas that I hit and I think that continued use of this on like a daily basis could uh, could really provide um, some long-lasting effects but uh, a single use isn't magically going to cure me, but oh my god, there's a spot that really hurts. <laughs> I've always got sore calves. But it's kind of cool, you could see how it's vibrating the muscle and I guess breaking up the fascia or whatever it's called, the tissue inside. <laughs> it's sore, but oh, it feels good. I'm not sure how hard you're supposed to press. I'm just kind of doing it medium. Anyhow, this is the first gun like this that I've tried. Uh, and I like it quite a bit. It's got a very large battery. This, By the way, this button on the side is to release the battery. You have to push it incredibly hard. And then the battery pulls right out. I don't know why you would want to do that since the whole thing stores away in a little package, but maybe for who God who knows why. I don't know. Anyhow, I like this quite a bit. It does have a little bit of a weird sound. I don't know if you can hear that. It's like a it's not loud, but it's like a high pitched frequency. That I can hear, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if all of them sound like that or if it's just mine. But it's kind of cool. 
And like I said, that that thing on the back is just a plastic cover over the glass, which I haven't bothered to take off yet. Oh yeah. Anyhow, that's my review of the Watney W2. And I'm just going to do this for a while.